BBC News, I'm Gareth Barlow. In the past few minutes, the former First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, has been released without charge, pending further investigation. She had earlier been arrested in connection with an ongoing investigation into the Scottish National Party's finances. It follows the arrest back in April of that of her husband, Peter Murrell, the former chief executive of the party, and the former treasurer, Colin Beattie. Both were released back then without charge pending further inquiries. A spokeswoman for Ms Sturgeon says the former leader has always made it clear she'll cooperate with any investigation. Well, let's cross live now to James Cook, who is outside Nicholas Sturgeon's home. James, just bring, up, bring us up to latest with what's happening. Yes, that's right. In the past few minutes, as you say, we've received an update from Police Scotland, who've been conducting this inquiry into the funding and finances of the Scottish National Party for the past two years. And in this statement, they confirm that a 52-year-old woman, who we know to be Nicola Sturgeon, who was arrested earlier today as a suspect in connection with that on ongoing investigation, has been released without charge pending further investigation. We're told by Police Scotland that detectives arrested her at 10.09 a.m. and she was released from custody at 5.24 p.m. here in Glasgow. So seven hours and 15 minutes in police custody, during which time, according to the police, she was questioned by Police Scotland detectives. The police now say, as would be standard uh, procedure at this time, that a report will be submitted to prosecutors, to the Crown Office uh, and Procurator Fiscal Service, which is Scotland's prosecution service. And as you say, a spokesperson for Nicola Sturgeon has stressed that she attended the interview by arrangement, this interview with the police, this questioning by the police, and that she has always said and continues to do so that if asked, she would cooperate with this investigation. Yes, it's worth noting, isn't it, James, that Nicola Sturgeon's arrest and now release doesn't really tell us anything about the case, apart from the fact that investigations are ongoing. No, and indeed there, there uh, is a law that uh, prevents us from getting into um, a great deal of speculation about the case, and not just us, but anyone else, other poli politicians, other members of the media, or indeed members of the public from speculating in any great detail about what might or might not be happen happening. That's the Contempt of Court Act 1981, which governs how these things operate. Still, we do know, as I say, that, that it is the funding and finances of the SNP which is being looked into. We do know that the, the scene today at Nicola Sturgeon's home, the house she shares with uh, Peter Murrell, the former chief executive of, of the party, is a very different scene to that when uh, Mr Murrell was arrested and then released without charge after questioning in April. On that occasion, uh, there was a police tent on the lawn here. There were police officers inside and in the garden of the house uh, removing um, boxes from the house. And indeed, the same thing happened at the Scottish National Party headquarters in Edinburgh. No such sign of that sort of activity today. It is, it is obviously very calm here on this very hot, sunny Scottish summer's evening. But we do know that this arrest and release without charge of Nicola Sturgeon really has sent shockwaves, not just through Scottish politics, but through UK politics. I mean, for, for, a, for a period, and she bestrode Scottish politics for a decade, really, as First Minister of Scotland and leader of her party, uh, her supporters hoped and some of her opponents feared that she would lead Scotland to independence from the United Kingdom. Well, that heyday for Nicola Sturgeon and that optimism on behalf of her supporters certainly feels like a long time ago now. With regards to the wider political situation, James, what are the other parties saying? We've heard comments from, from Scottish Labour. Yes, yeah, so the, the Scottish Labour Party's position is that they want to know what the current First Minister, um, Ms Sturgeon's successor, Hamza Youssef, might or might not have known about any of the events which uh, led up to this situation and which are being investigated by the police. Mr Youssef, for what it's worth, has repeatedly said that it would be inappropriate for him to comment on an active police investigation. Indeed, as recently as this morning, although the interview was actually recorded on Friday for the Sunday with Laura Koonsberg programme on the BBC. Uh, Mr Youssef was saying he had spoken to Ms Sturgeon recently, that uh, obviously this had been a very difficult time for her, but essentially he thought she was doing 
well, uh, and that is the, what the, the Labour Party are saying, the Conservatives really, well, they are saying, among other things, that they think this is all a distraction and a distraction which, in, in their view, is damaging the governance of Scotland and that the SNP is being distracted from the, the key issues which actually matter to voters in Scotland, whether that be health or education and, and so on. So that is the position of the, of the two main opposition parties in the Scottish Parliament, in the devolved Scottish Government, which the SNP uh, continues to run. James, James Cook joining us from Glasgow for the moment. Thank you.